Many Iowa farmers who took their hogs to the Waterloo packing plant now have to figure out what they are going to do. Joining us is one of those impacted pork producers. Trish Cook lives in Buchanan County in northern Iowa. And Trish, thanks for joining us today. Yes, thank you. I wish it was under better circumstances than what discussion we're about to have. I know, it sure does, because the pork industry is so important to all Iowans, whether you're, whether you're directly involved in it or not. Your family farm raises piglets that eventually end up at that Waterloo Tyson plant. How is this plant immediately going to the closure affect your business? Well, the closure is going to have a, a ripple effect through all of the hog industry, whether you sell your pigs to Tyson or not, because any time that there's capacity that is decreased in the industry, everyone's going to feel the effect. Mm -hmm. And we sell the most of our pigs, uh, market sized pigs, to the Tyson facility in Waterloo, only about 45 minutes from our farm. So it's very convenient and they've been a good to work with. Um, so it's going to take a lot of shuffling and adjusting diets that we feed the pigs to try and deal with the situation that we're facing today. Okay, um, we've, we've reported a couple of things that as an Iowan are just kind of shocking when you hear it. The first thing we've reported over the past week is that there's a possibility some pork producers may have to euthanize pigs at some point and also that some, if they were selling them at this point, would be selling them at an average loss of something like $37 a head. Is there any truth for you to either of those facts at this point? Yeah, uh, I'll address first the price that we're getting for pigs as, as hog farmers. We're definitely, um, every market hog we put on a semi that goes to the plant, no matter where that plant is, we're losing about 37, as you said, or $40 a head on each animal. And the market, um, the prices that we're getting just aren't enough to cover the costs that we're uh, having as farmers. And so that, you know, it's hard to operate a business when that's the bottom line that you're dealing with. And... I forgot what the second piece of your question was. The other one was the possibility of having, if you can't sl essentially slow down the growth of some of your piglets enough that they, that some may, could possibly have to be destroyed at some point. You know, that is a fear that we all have as pork producers. I mean, we all care for our animals. The last thing we want to do is euthanize them in a way that doesn't allow them to be used for the food chain for people to eat and to get a great protein source that allows everyone to be healthy. Um, I haven't direct knowledge of anyone doing that yet, but the numbers kind of are a little bit scary. Right now, the packer capacity is decreased by about 25%. So normally about 2.6 million head of market hogs are slaughtered in the United States each week. And with 25% decreased capacity, that leaves about 600,000 pigs each week that we have to find room for, whether that is kind of putting them on a diet that they don't grow as much, or you double up the space of some smaller pigs, which has another set of, of implications. Um, so it's, it's a pretty scary reality that we're facing in the hog industry. Very difficult situation. I know every operation is in a, in a different financial position, so it's probably affecting different um, different operations differently. But but with your situation, how, how financially, how, do, how are you having to kind of move some things around or maybe jump some through some hoops to just sort of tap dance until things get back to normal? Yeah, I think uh, you talk to any farmer and they're pretty good at figuring out cash flow and, and where it's coming from and where it's not coming from. So it takes daily um, diligence to try and make sure you're, you're going to get your bills paid. And um, when do you think the next paycheck's coming in from these market hogs? Because you had mentioned perhaps pigs will have to get euthanized, but the other thing is farmers aren't going to get any money. So it's a ripple effect through the whole economy when farmers can't spend money to buy things that help the rest of the community, it ripples through more than just the people who are taking care of animals every day. Well, I hope you know that uh, the, the, the hearts and minds uh, of all Iowans are behind our pork producers in our state at this point, because whether all Iowans realize it or not, uh, this is an incredibly important industry to our state. Um, and we wish you all the best luck as we work to get recovered and back to normal as quickly as we can on the farm. Trish Cook, thanks for joining us so much today. Thank you.